Hello there friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art and today I'm back to show you a closer look at the Butterfly Brilliance Collection which is a brand new collection being offered by Stampin' Up. It's um, kind of an early release for the brand new annual catalog which launches May 4th. This collection will be available March 2nd through May 3rd and although the, the bundle of uh, stamps and dies will be available in the brand new annual catalog, the the rest of the collection, the two different specialty papers, will not be available. They're only available through May 3rd. So I wanted to give you a closer look at these products because they're beautiful. And one of the perks of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is that I get to see all of this stuff about a month before it gets released to normal customers. So I've been playing with this for a month and I have some fun things to show you. So I'm going to give you a closer look at each of the products that are in the collection. Then I'm going to show you some samples I made using it, and then I'm going to show you a fun technique that you can use um, when you get your uh, products in the mail. So the, the Butterfly Brilliance collection consists of a bundle, which is the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and die set. The stamp set is basically one big stamp, and um, I have mine on my Stamparatus right now. It's just one big image that, um, that has the six different butterflies on it and you stamp it all at once. And so um, that's the stamp set. And then the dies that it comes with, um, the die, there's two different types of dies. There's the outline die, which lines up beautifully with the butterflies once they're stamped and you can cut them out. And then there's this other set of dies, which are, um, they're, they're outlines of the shapes of the butterflies. And these are detail butterflies, basically, that, and I love these. Um, I feel like these are beautiful because you can use these without even stamping. Uh, so, And you can also overlay the butterflies that you cut with, the, um, with this die, you can overlay with these. So this die is very useful because not only does it line up with the stamp set, it lines up with one of the pieces of paper that's in the packet the designer series paper, it lines up perfectly so you can cut a whole sheet of butterflies out of one of the designer series papers. And then it also lines up, if you wanted to cut this on plain cardstock and then cut these out on colored cardstock, you could layer them together to create more butterfly designs. So it's really very, very versatile. Uh, there are also these cute little small dies that have, they, they cut little background images and then some tiny, tiny butterflies if you want those for, for some of your card designs. So lots and lots of dies. The bundle um, of the stamp set and the dies, you always save 10%. It retails for $54.75 for these two products. Uh, the rest of the collection consists of papers, two different specialty papers. So there's a designer series paper right here. And I'm gonna show you these beautiful papers. So you've got that big um, sheet. You've got that sheet of the big butterflies that the dies cut out. Um, and then there's the other side, which is a beautiful neutral. Um, I'm just gonna show you each of these. They're very, very pretty. The neutrals are just as beautiful as the butterfly pages and very versatile. I feel like they could, you know, you could use these for a lot of different cards. Very, very pretty color palette as well pinks and oranges. You've got a lot of people's favorite colors are the Calypso Coral and the Bermuda Bay. You've got, um, so you've got the Calypso Coral, you've got Bermuda Bay. There's uh, different yellows like Daffodil Delight would work beautiful with these. Uh, terracotta Tile would be very pretty. So very, very pretty purples, different purples like Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape would actually work with some of these papers. So it's a, it's a beautiful color palette. Uh, Moonlight Mist is very pretty with some of the butterflies. So great color pal palette, lots of options there. Um, and you get the papers for this collection are six by six. And you get uh, 48 sheets in a package of six by six. And there's six different designs. So that's eight sheets of each, which is very generous and makes it really fun to create multiples. And then you have this other designer series paper that's a specialty paper. And this is called the Natural Touch Specialty Paper. You get two sheets of 12 by 12. It looks just like wood. It's amazing how, how cool it is. It's very textured. It has like a little wood grain texture to it. And uh, visually it looks like a little, sh like a, a, a piece of laminate wood. Uh, so this is gonna be really fun to play with. I've, I've seen other demonstrators say that this is great for 
die cutting, you can emboss on this. Uh, you can like dry emboss it. You can heat emboss on it. It's very easy to, you know, cut every, all of our cutting tools cut on it fine because it's just a paper weight. It's really, really nice paper anyway. Two sheets for five bucks, two 12 by 12 sheets for five bucks. So the collection consists of these two papers, the butterfly stamps and the dies. And the whole collection retails for $71.25 for all of the pieces. Like I said, the dies and the stamp set will still be available in the annual catalog as a bundle, but these two papers are gonna go away after May 3rd. So just something to keep in mind. This is all while, uh, these papers are while supplies last as well, just so you know. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've been making with this, because I've had so much fun with this. So one of the first things I did, of course, was die cut a bunch of the butterflies out because that just is such easy, super easy card making. And so for this first card, I took a um, an embossing folder, the Tasteful Textures embossing folder, and I embossed a panel of Pool Party. And then I used my Stitch So Sweetly dies to cut a rectangle. And then I lined the rectangle with one of the Designer Series paper papers in this kit. And then I added this butterfly, the largest one, and a little sentiment uh, from the Vine Design uh, stamp set and some of the sequins from Artistry Blooms and a little bit of twine from the Snail Twine. So very simple card, but so pretty. It came together really quickly. For this one, um, and the, car the color palette I used is really, I just pulled it right out of the Designer Series papers. So it was very easy to figure out which colors to use. So this one um, is my favorite. And I think it's because I cut a panel of Misty Moonlight and I inked up the stamp with Misty Moonlight ink, and then I stamped that down and created this background sheet that has the, the butterfly images on it. So it's sort of a tone on tone. And then I used that as the background panel for, for this uh, butterfly card. And I, I cut a little panel of uh, Pool Party and embossed that so there's a little bit more texture. And I just love how it came out. I think it's really pretty. So that one was really fun. This one I made, um, I used the same embossing folder. I used a couple of layered circles and I created a fun fold, one of those Z fold cards, which is really nice and a little bit of a surprise when you open the envelope. And I love how this one came out too. I love the vibrancy of the colors on this one because I used some of the background paper again that picks up that pink color and uh, it just really coordinates beautifully with the pink butterfly and the pink twine. And then this last card, uh, I went with the Calypso Coral against the the uh, jade color and I just think it looks so pretty. It really makes the butterfly stand out. And these cu these cards are um, all coordinated because I use that Vine Design stamp set. The sentiments all have the same font so it makes a really nice collection and this would be a gorgeous gift. I could package these up in, in a gift box and one of those ace tape boxes and uh, put a little belly band on it and give it as a gift. It really would be nice. So that's another thing you could do with this is to create some sets of cards to give as gifts to friends or family. So one of the things I was doing when I was playing, I pulled out my watercolors. Um, but when, before I show you something on that, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about these dies. So these dies are the outline dies, the detail dies. And when you look at them, you can see they're pretty intricate in terms of what they cut. And sometimes I know in the past, I've struggled with these to get these through my machine and have them cut fully. So I don't know, you may have already heard of this tip, but if you take a dryer sheet and you lay your, um, and I'll show you, we'll do it. Get my little mini stamp and emboss machine out here. And what you can do is you can, you can lay a dryer sheet down on your die cutting machine and lay the die down on there and then run it through the die cutting machine over the dryer sheet. And it doesn't have to be a brand name dryer sheet. You can get the generic dryer sheets. Um, but you run it through your, your die cutting machine. And what happens is the, the dryer sheet material that keeps your clothes from getting staticky transfers onto the metal and you can actually feel it on the metal. And it creates a slippery condition so that when you run your paper, now when I run this through with um, a piece of cardstock, which I absolutely can do to show you. I'm gonna run this butterfly through some cardstock.
I'll show you how nicely the butterfly completely releases and all those little pieces release. Oops. So the butterfly releases beautifully and then all the little pieces fall right out of the butterfly. So you get a beautiful detailed butterfly without the nightmare of having to try to get all those little pieces released from his wings. And it works great. And if you, you do it a couple of times, it'll work even better. That was the first time I'd ever done these because I haven't really played with these so much yet. But um, if you do this, you'll get a beautiful butterfly and all those little pieces will release and it'll make it a lot easier for you to do that. So that's one little tip I wanted to share. And now I wanna show you something that I played with that was really fun that you could try yourself. That's super easy. So I like to play with watercolor sometimes. So what I did was I got, um, I got our water painters and in there they have this broad brush. Um, you get a set of three. There's kind of a small, a medium, and then this broad brush. And this is great for doing watercolor washes. So we offer us Stampin' Up! offers a beautiful watercolor paper that comes in this size. You get a package of, I think it's like 12 little sheets. And um, I'm just going to, I just got a glass of water and I'm wetting my brush and I'm just going to moisten the whole surface of this piece of cardstock, this watercolor cardstock. And what's great about this is that whenever you watercolor on watercolor paper, it's actually meant to, the paper's meant to hold water. It's designed for that. So it's gonna respond much better to a water situation than a sheet of basic white or basic white thick wood. So all I'm doing here is just coating the paper with some water to make it nice and moist. And then what I've done is I've taken um, a plate and some reinkers and on my plate, I've put a couple dots of reinker. So I picked Pool Party and So Saffron and Calypso Coral as my colors. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more water to the inks here on the plate. I'm gonna start with the yellow one. And on my moist card, I'm just going to dot this color. And I'm just kind of dotting it all over the cardstock here. And I'm gonna start with my lightest color first. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush and add a little more water to it. So it blends around. There's no real technique here. It's just literally I'm kind of dotting this around. And then I'm gonna add some of the orange. And I'm not going over the yellow. I'm going in places where I haven't put yellow. So I'm kind of going around it. And you can add more water. This paper is very forgiving. It loves water. It humps up, but don't worry about that. When it dries, it dries pretty smooth. And I just keep adding water and color to my cardstock here. Then I'm gonna clean my brush off pretty well. And I'm gonna add some water to the pool party color. And I'm just gonna dot that in in certain places. I don't wanna mix these colors too much because they do turn brown when you mix them. They look really cool, blended together on the edges, but if you mix them, they don't look great. I've had some disastrous results at times when I've tried to do too much mixing and too much swiping. You can kind of see in this bottom left corner that it's starting to kind of turn brown with the greens and the oranges together. So anyway, so what you're gonna do is just keep doing this on your paper and you're gonna fill, cover your whole sheet, and then you just let this dry. You let this sit and dry someplace um, where it won't be disturbed, and you just let it dry for maybe an hour, maybe two hours, and it will dry nice and um, complete. And then you'll be able to die cut with it. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you, we're going to stamp, we're gonna use the Memento Black Ink because I have a piece that I made earlier and it's completely dry. It was all humped up like that and now it's nice and smooth and dry. And I'm going to take out my Misty, my Stamparatus and we're gonna lay this inside. We're just gonna lay it right here. And we're gonna take the Memento Black Ink Pad. And the reason I like using the Mist, the, um, 
the Stamparatus for this is because it's very forgiving. Um, sometimes when we ink up with black ink, you don't get a great impression the first time, and it's nice to be able to do it twice and get it exactly in the same spot. So this little Stamparatus tool has some magnets that I often will use, but I don't think I'm gonna need them for this particular run. So I'm just going to um, ink up the stamp with my Memento Black ink, and then this is laying nice and um, tight up against the edge. And I'm just going to stamp it down over my watercolor paper. And I'm just gonna kind of run my hands over the whole image to make sure I get as good of an impression as possible. And see, I have a little spot that's missing, so it's good to use a tool like this because it really does help. Now these are distinctive stamps, which means they have sort of a texture to them. They're meant to look almost photographic. And um, so they're gonna have a little texture to them that a, you know the older stamps that Stampin' Up! produces doesn't always have. Try this again. There we go. Okay, that looks great. And so now, um, if I wanted something more subtle, I could have used like a gray ink pad or like a crumb cake ink pad. That would have given me a more subtle look. And then when I run this through my die cutting machine, I'm gonna get six like completely gorgeous butterflies that I can make cards with. And so I did this over the last couple weeks I've been playing and I came out, I ended up using crumb cake, um, pool party and so saffron ink. And that was, or gray granite. I used gray granite and so saffron and pool party. And these were the cards that I came up with. So I made these beautiful butterflies with those, this watercolor technique. And this is how the cards came out. So I made the same cards, the same card designs as the other cards I showed you. But this time I used my own color palette and I did not use designer series paper. I just used the papers and embossing folders that were the colors that I had picked for the butterflies. And I really think they came out great. They're so pretty. It was really fun to see how they would come out just based on what the watercolor paper looked like. And now I'll have six more to play with or even more because I made that other sheet so I can die cut that one. I think I, on the one I just watercolored for you, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, and here's my piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a lighter ink to see if that um, changes the look of this. It's just so fun to experiment. So this was another one where I took a Bermuda Bay ink and stamped on Bermuda Bay cardstock to create the background. And, um, and it's just so vibrant. It really pulls the green out of that, uh, the pool party, the bluish green. So it came out really pretty. So anyway, I just wanted to show you a few things about this collection of products that you know, you're not gonna probably find other places. And I wanted you to be able to see some of the possibilities with this collection of product. I think what, one of the fun things about buying a whole collection of things at once is that you get to play with everything, but you're limited to what you're playing with because you only have certain products. And if you limit yourself to just those products, you can come up with all kinds of ideas. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, and I appreciate you watching my video and, and uh, taking a look at this, a little closer look at this collection. If you have any questions, please let me know. This product is now available and you're welcome to order it. I've put a link in the video where you can go to order the collection and um, I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot.